To some, Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed represents a more different time for the franchise, until Underground ushered the series into a new era, for better or for worse, of heavy car customization and narrative, these features were either thin on the ground or practically non-existent. Need for Speed had a different identity back then, a more straightforward one. But this is not to suggest the change wasn't well-received, far from it. The inclusion of characters provided some really memorable acting and quotes. Sit down! How you been? It's dangerous. Be careful, he'll swap paint if he has to. I still remember Nikki's PSA from the opening of Carbon. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Vosier. The moves that you and your crew do in the game are meant to stay in the game. In the real world, drive safe, obey the laws of the road, and always wear your seatbelt. Police chases became more advanced, and overall the series started bringing fresh elements over its gameplay. Given the fact that the very first installment had FMV, full motion video, and the obnoxious Mr. X who served as the game's antagonist, I don't know what to say, uh... You suck wind big time, buddy. If anything, Need for Speed went back to its roots. Porsche Unleashed is among my all-time favorite video games. And if I were to rank every NFS installment I've played, this one would be near the very top. Despite the nature of racing games that invites aggressive competition and high-octane racing, the gameplay of Porsche Unleashed feels more like a commemorative game than anything else. At no point does it ever feel like I'm in a race of my life, but rather participating in a parade that happens to have light racing thrown in for fun. Every genre has that one example that is a touch different than its peers and doesn't immediately feel like it belongs to said genre. Porsche Unleashed is that game. With that being said, let's travel to Normandy, arguably one of the most beautiful tracks ever to appear in a racing game. Inspired by rural countryside, Normandy employs a very scenic route with wide open roads and fantastic ambiance. Trust me, this particular track is better experienced with the music turned off. Three, two, one, go! Starting off in a forest, the warm autumn tones at once give off a cozy, quaint vibe. The visuals and colors are reminiscent of those romantic cards which feature silhouettes locked in embrace. The forest track immediately branches off into two routes, with the right housing remnants of a broken building, a church perhaps. I remember these details being rather impressive back in the day. This route is ostensibly a shortcut, but you're better off taking the left one because there's no danger of crashing into anything. Even in a relaxing racer such as this, there's always the chance of AI drivers bumping into you. The forest segment is short and serves as a wonderful way to open this track. The next segment is the main highlight of the game. Exiting the forest, the track turns into tarmac and opens into a vast, rural environment with a pleasing skybox and lens flare to finish the effect. This is the segment where the ambience totally pays off. <coughs> Farmhouses and barns are intersected with rows of beautiful farm fields, complete with rolls of hay and appropriate sounds of livestock, though they themselves are nowhere to be seen. Driving further reveals a town. Grain silos and more neatly stacks of haze can be found. If you take what is ostensibly the shortcut through the town, you'll come across cozy looking homes and what looks to be a woman on a rocking chair. I'm quite hesitant because the charmingly outdated and low res blocky models and textures can only allow for so much assumption. Next to the woman is another model stuck in perpetual slow motion sweeping action. The low quality is understandable. They are background elements and meant to be noticed by the corner of your eye. Back in the early 2000s, I'd often slow down by the woman and just stare at her. She very well may have been the very first time I ever paid attention to a minor background character. The creaking of her chair and the surrounding ambience, remember the music is turned off, still brings a smile on my face. I can only hope my retirement plan matches the calmness of this scene, though I can imagine myself getting annoyed if a Porsche 911 randomly started doing donuts in front of my face. Exiting the town leads to open, winding roads and scenic scenery all the way to the finish line. On either side of the roads, you'll see wonderful farmhouses, rolling hills, and mountains with jagged edges. I'd love to take a walk alongside this scenery. Revisiting this track for the article was a wonderful nostalgic trip indeed. I was surprised by how much I'd remembered about the track, 
even after all these years. If you've wanted to experience the concept of Higa in motion, Normandy is perfect for you.